This video is covering the endless sequencer on the open one. To access endless, hold shift and press the sequencer key. Press sequencer again to engage it. Now hold shift and play some notes on the keyboard. Release shift when you're done and play a note on the keyboard to play back your sequence. You can of course use it together with the tape. If you make a mistake while recording a new sequence, you can use the back arrow key to delete last note. To enter silence, use the forward arrow key. To enter long notes, continue to hold the keys while pressing the forward arrow key. Turn the orange encoder to engage hold. Blue encoder sets note length or trigger timing. Green encoder sets swing. Your sequence may need to be re-triggered to be applied properly. Both negative and positive swing can be applied. 50% is neutral. Your sequence can be played back in a few different ways. Holding shift and using orange, you can set playback direction. Reverse, forward, random. Also, within the same sequence, you can have different trigger patterns. Here's an example. Let's start the tape to put it into context. Turn hold on and use white to select a different trigger pattern within the sequence. The pattern is indicated in the upper left corner of the screen. Hold shift and turn white to rotate the triggers back and forth. Endless is of course polyphonic, so you can enter chords if you want, creating more complex rhythms and melodies. When sequencing with Endless, the OP1 is sending MIDI data, meaning Endless can trigger any external MIDI device over USB. If you have the crank accessory, you can activate crank mode using shift and blue. This will give you manual music box style playback control of your sequence. That's it for Endless. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.